one of our nation's great leaders as the next majority leader of the United States House of Representatives, Congressman Eric Tanner. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it for Robert Hurt. This is for the people of the 5th District. This election means a lot to a lot of folks in this district. This election, frankly, as Bill Bowling just said, means a lot to the people of our country. You know, across America, I keep hearing, watch what happens in Virginia's 5th District. If Virginia's 5th District comes into the R column, we're going to have a great night. So it is up to you. It is up to you. We've all got to deliver. Now look, this district is really the epicenter of the battle that is raging across this country. You know, first of all, this district is in need of some leadership that understands the problems that people face in Virginia. Right now, this election means work. It means right now too many people in the 5th District and across this Commonwealth are out of work. We know, as Pat Mullen said, nearly 290,000 Virginians are out of work right now. And you know what that means? It means real, real worry on the part of a lot of Virginians. You know, I know all of us, if you're asked a question, if you know somebody that's out of work, you probably do. Or at least you know somebody who's had to take a lesser paying job just to pay the bills. The problem is Washington's not listening. It's as if Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama just don't get it. Because while people are out of work, their whole lives are turned upside down. And the only answer that they can come up with is more government, is higher taxes, is more regulation. Now that's not who we are as America. That is not what it means to be the leadership of this country. Because first, you got to listen to the people. Now, this election is also about knowing between what works and what doesn't work. We know what works here in the 5th District. Because the 5th District lies as the cradle of freedom. It really all started here. It is our legacy. It is the legacy that we have as Virginians that has to spur us on for the next 48 hours until the polls close. Because we know what works is free enterprise. What doesn't work is a social welfare state that we are heading for quickly under Tom Perriello's vision. We know what works is less government means more freedom, not higher taxes and more spending of money we don't have. We know what works is Robert Hurt, not Tom Perriello. Yeah. Rob Hurt works. 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 Get to that. I'm getting to that. Listen, <laughs> this election is going to turn on how hard we work for the next 48 hours until the polls close. Until every last vote is counted, we've all got to pledge to work as hard as Robert and Kathy Hurt and their family has over the last year. Are you ready to work? Yeah. Now, we're going to have a lot of work to do if we deliver the 5th District because that means we'll deliver at least 39 seats for the House of Representatives to become a new Republican majority. And a lot of folks will ask, well, what is it that you Republicans are really about? And don't ever shrink away from that question if you're asked over the next two days. Because we Republicans are the party of ideas. We understand that less government, more freedom, 
tilt toward the private sector, empowering individuals to make it, to get back into the game, to create jobs, just as Virginia's jobs are, has said. Now, when they ask me, well, what is it? How are you really going to do this? The first thing I do is point, point to His Excellency Governor Bob McDonald. Yeah. And we, we can only, you know what? I, I think, I think, I think I'm correct in saying that only in Virginia do they call it His Excellency. <laughs> But you know what? We in Virginia are special. That's We are right. exceptional. We have a legacy to uphold here. And when people ask, what is it that Republicans are going to do? I say, we're going to follow the lead of Bob McDonald in Congress because we're going to stop making promises we can't keep. We're going to start down the path of fiscal restraint and cutting spending. We're going to return to that constitutionally limited government that started right here in Virginia that's being held high by Bob McDonnell and his administration. And yes, by holding true to the principles of common sense conservatism that started right here by Mr. Jefferson, Bob has turned our state along with members of his cabinet and the General Assembly into a leader again. We have seen a surplus return to Virginia under Bob's leadership. And you know what? We've seen jobs return. And just like Robert Hurt said, Bob's for jobs. 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 So as a prelude to a cost-cutting, job-creating Congress, I present to you His Excellency, the Governor of Virginia, the Honorable Paul McDonald.